want to know what comes between me and my Calvins? My period panties! Calvin Klein jeans. Hi Bartonella buddies! Today I have a short video for you. It's just a story about my reaction to a tampon. People with periods can react to pads, tampons, nuverings, and any other normal thing that can go in one's vagina. So I've had mast cell activation now for around two years and only recently did I have a reaction to a tampon. What this shows you is that one's mast cell activation can change throughout the course of their illness. So unfortunately, just because you've never reacted to something before doesn't necessarily mean that you won't react to it in the future. A few weeks ago, I took my mid afternoon nap like I always do and I woke up from that nap before my alarm had gone off and I thought oh I probably just have to use the restroom. So I went to the restroom and then I realized that the reason I had woken up was because the pain had woken me up. So I didn't have any localized pain or reaction. I had pain that felt like shards of glass from my esophagus all the way down into my stomach. I knew pretty quickly that I was having a reaction to the tampon. I'll tell you why in a minute. But I took the tampon out and within 15 minutes I felt a lot better. And I also took one Benadryl and one dose of my Valium. And about an hour later I felt a little bit better. So I took another Benadryl, another low dose Valium and an hour after that I felt around 90-95% back to normal. How I knew I was reacting to my tampon was a free, a free weeks a free weeks. A few weeks prior to the reaction to the tampon, I had tried to put in my NuvaRing, which is my hormonal birth control. It's a vaginal type of birth control. I put it in one evening. I woke up early to go get my blood drawn, and while I was sitting and waiting to get my blood drawn, I felt like I was going to have diarrhea. I was having lower abdominal cramping and it started off mild and then it became moderate and then it felt like, oh my god, I'm going to have diarrhea right here, right now. And my mom was like, I think you're reacting to your NuvaRing. And I was like, um okay. So I took it out and she was absolutely right. So that reaction to the NuvaRing clued me in that the shards of glass in my esophagus was actually due to my tampon. There are many different ways that mast cell activation patients work around their sensitivities to products that they use for their periods, also just their sensitivities on their genitals in general. General genital. General genital. <laughs> <laughs> General <laughs> General Genital reporting for duty. Sir. Sir. Ma'am. Oh, well you're the general. Who who are you? Who am I saluting? saluting? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you're the, the president. One could salute yes, the president. And you can be a one star general and a five star general. Okay, so so, so, yeah, so it works. Okay, so where was I? Some common workaround are tampons that are organic and haven't been treated with any sort of chemical at all. And I might try that in the future, but given how painful, oh my God, I didn't even tell you how painful it was. It was, I mean, it said shards of glass, so you, you could infer. So I'm not too keen on putting anything up there not anytime soon. Of course, some people use pads, but some people have localized reactions with their genitals touching the pad. So you could get organic pads that also have not been treated with any type of chemical, but people can still react to that as well. I find pads to be the unbreathable devil, personally. So I, in the meantime, got these panties. Who says panties? <laughs> panties. Period panties. I got these underwear that some of them hold up to two tampons worth of blood and some of them hold up to four tampons worth of blood. This is the cutest pair I got. You can imagine what the other ones look like. There are several companies out there that offer a product like this. So I'll let you know how those work for me. I don't know in what fashion. You're not gonna call everybody up? <laughs> I'll leave a comment down below after I've tried them. Before those arrived, I was literally using cotton rags. It never dawned on me until I used a cotton rag why when you're on your period, the expression is you're on your rag. No? The rag. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's old and outdated. 
so that's why I don't know it. Okay. <laughs> they were very soft and very breathable and honestly I preferred them over a pad. On the topic of genitalia, I wanted to show you this product. I was introduced to it by a general practitioner when I was studying uh, for my master's in London. I had two vagina run-ins while I was in London. One was a tampon that I left in for four days. No, you're not telling anybody that. Why not? Really going to tell people you left a tampon in for four days? Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> I accidentally left a tampon in for four days. Ask me how I got through a master's degree. And the other was I thought I had a yeast infection. I used Monistat. I had some relief, but then I continued to use Monistat. And then I was like, damn, this is a really hardcore yeast infection. And I went to a general practitioner there and she was like, no signs of a yeast infection. You're now probably just irritated from the monostat. So she told me to go out and get this. And of course, this isn't gonna work for any all mast cell patients. We all have different sensitivities, but I really like this product because not only can you use it as a lotion, it can be a soap substitute. It says antimicrobial for the management of dry and Pruritic. Did I say that? Pruritic. Pruritic, which means itchy skin. So yeah, I dig this shit. I don't know how easy it always is to get in America. So when I saw it on Amazon, I bought like three or four. People don't feel comfortable talking about genitalia. And I obviously do. So the reason I'm telling you this story is manifold. One is because I need content for my channel. <laughs> Two, more importantly, is that it is very normal to have reactions to tampons, pads, etc. It shouldn't be embarrassing. I just told you that I left a tampon in for four days. And then three, with Bartonellosis and or MCAS, we are constantly trying to figure out what's going wrong, what's doing what, putting out fires, and no, you're not alone with that as well. That being said, if you're not part of our Breaking Down Bartonella Facebook group, you should join. Make sure to answer all of the questions and agree to the group rules in order to be admitted. The two other administrators and I work hard to bring you information on treatment, testing, diagnosis, recommendations for Bartonella literate medical doctors that are actually Bartonella literate, and support. Private Piper reporting for duty, or should I say Private Parts Piper reporting for duty. She says, like this video if you enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Bye Bartonella buddies. Am I gonna make a funny face? I don't know, you're gonna do what whatever God calls you to do. You wanna know what comes between me and my calvins? Nothing.